Hi friends, welcome to Katya Ironworks Precision the Arrow Mount installation video for DeWalt DW735. Now before we begin with this installation, I would like to let you know that we are not going to be showing thread locker in this video, but every time you see a screw being inserted into a metal surface, you should add a blue thread locker onto the first three or four threads. All right. With that, let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to remove this uh, red piece here. I already pre-loosened it. Um, be gentle with these screws, they are pretty soft. Take both of the Phillips screws out, take the piece out and it's safe to discard that. The next step is to remove the ruler. First take out these black screws here. Again, be gentle with them because they are soft and easily stripped. Remove the top cap. You want to keep that top cap, don't throw it away. And discard the ruler. The next step is cut the ironworks part E1. You may want to start by installing these M3 uh, pan screws first, makes it easier. Then using the M4 socket screws, secure it to the face of your planer, but don't tighten it just yet. Now we are going to go ahead and assemble the DRO onto the precision mount. We will start with these D-links, there's two of them, the one with the single hole goes on the bottom, the one with the true triple holes goes on the top side. We are going to insert one 6mm M3 pan screw in the middle hole of each. And we are going to start on the triple slots on the top side. The part is symmetrical but we recommend you um, get the engraved part facing front and you are going to install these M3 countersunk screws allowing for some movement don't tighten them just yet and you want to make sure this uh, D-link is 90 degrees to the long piece which is part B uh, what I'm installing right now is part A now I'll install to the opposite side and uh, once again you are going to use three M3 countersunk screws they are 10 millimeters long don't tighten them fully allow for some movement you will do the full tightening at the very last step the next step is the lower D-link this one only needs one M3 countersunk screw on the fifth slot the position is not super critical but you want it somewhere in the middle the next step is to insert the ruler and push the arrow through and then you are going to uh, make it parallel, keep it in the middle and uh, secure uh, these clamp screws in the front. Go ahead and uh, tighten everything. Make sure it moves freely and you are getting approximately 6 inches of movement. Then we are going to go ahead and install the whole assembly onto the planer. We will start the installation from the top side. Be careful that cap has a uh, cutout machine and that cutout needs to be looking at the front side. Don't tighten it fully. You need to allow for some rotation at this point because you're going to install these spacers at the bottom side and you don't want to be bending things when you tighten them. Go ahead and install these stainless steel M5 socket screws that were supplied with your kit with the CNC turn spacers in the back. Get them all nice and tight and then go back upstairs and tighten the top side. There you go. Now we are going to install part E2 that just slides in into those M3 pan screws. Tighten them just about until snug, for, but allow for some movement to make sure we are not going to be pinching the DRO because you need to adjust the spacing to be just right to take up for variations in uh, how those DROs are manufactured. You are going to use a 20 millimeter long M3 pan screw and a washer that was supplied with your kit. They are going to go through from the left side of the part, go through the spacer, and then thread into the hole on the left side of the DRO. Although the DRO is plastic, there is a metal nut inside the DRO, so you don't run the risk of stripping it when you are tightening. 
and you want the arrow to be positioned somewhere approximately in the middle of the part two. Go ahead and lower your planer all the way down. Make sure nothing is colliding with each other. Zero the arrow. Go ahead, move it all the way up. Again, make sure you are not going to hit the D-link on the top. And then verify that you are getting approximately 5.8 inches of travel. In this video, we got 5.97 inches. And this completes the installation. Now your next step is going to be to calibrate the DRO. The calibration procedure is very simple. Uh, the long, of, long and short of it is basically you are going to take some test cuts uh, with a piece of 2x4 and then you are going to measure the thickness of that 2x4 with a digital calipers and then you are going to enter that value into your DRO. The procedure to do that is to long press the on dash cal button until it zeroes out and then you are going to use the plus and minus keys until the readout on your DRO is the same as the readout on your calipers. And that's it. Now enjoy your high precision planer and we will see you on the next Katy Ironworks solution installation video. Thank you.